What's up, Hatch Tribe? Hillary here, popping in with four ways to grow your email list fast in 2021. And these are my four favorite ways to do that right now. So I'm gonna give you the tool, I'm gonna give you some tips on using it, and also share some results, because a few of these are things that we've recently tested and I have some results to share with you. So first up on the list is hosting a challenge. Now, chances are you've seen these, or maybe you've even participated in one before, but a challenge is where you give your audience a taste of what it's gonna be like to work with you, and also get them some results really quick so that they can start to see and feel what it would be like to be part of you and your business and whatever it is that you do. So a challenge might be something like five days, 10 days, two weeks, but something where your audience is going to get some quick wins and start to experience the real results that they would get through a longer experience of working with you and with your business or potentially even with the products that you sell. So that's to say, in order to create a really good challenge, I want you to think about two things. Really hone in on exactly the audience that you want to serve, and then think about the experiences that you can give them in bite-sized nuggets to get some wins every single day of that challenge. Now, we recently did this with a five-day CEO challenge, and I wanted to share some of the results for that. So the five-day CEO challenge rolled out a different challenge every single day, our audience also had access to a Facebook group where we engaged with them and asked them to feed back to us the ahas that they were having throughout the challenge. So we had 170 people opt into the challenge. More than half of those were actively engaged through the entire challenge. And what we found is that the engagement was really, really high. In fact, the engagement in our challenge was higher than that in our Facebook group, and it's one that we have for our CEO collective. And that was an interesting aha for us. So so the way we're now trying to think about it is how can we bring that challenge idea into our larger community, but also how can we use challenges more strategically in our business to help our audience feel more engaged and also to get that excitement up. So we'll be back with another challenge. There's no question. We really love this as a strategy and our audience did as well. We had a lot of really positive feedback from doing this. So that's idea number one. Now, number two is to host a video series. Now, you may have seen these. In fact, there's one that just happened, which my mentor, Brandon Lucero, hosted. His was called the Content Revolution Video Series. And over the course of four days, he rolled out really amazing content via video that could be consumed basically each day it rolls out. And part of it is him really teaching the methodology that he sells inside of his course, Video for x Effect. Now, video series are awesome, but you've got to build some hype for them on the front end. You can't just show up with like video one without doing some runway into it. And so what Brandon did in his business was created this really nice runway of using a webinar and some live events, but also teasing the audience and sending out almost a month's worth of engagement prior to the video series launching. So he had a huge enrollment. Now, I don't have the exact numbers for his enrollment, but I know it's in the thousands. And, and they've told us, uh, because I'm an affiliate for his program, that the enrollment for this has actually been higher than any other launch that they've had before. So I would say keep your eye on this as a strategy because it's something really awesome you can do. And of course, the benefit here with a video series is that if you're using video already, it's really going to be easy for you to sit down and record that content and get everything pre-scheduled and ready to go out. So you don't have a lot of work to have to do every single day of that. And this is a great strategy for using it as a runway into whatever it is that you're selling or into potentially a new launch. So keep that in mind. Another person who does this really well is James Wedmore. Um, he has a business called Business by Design. Um, I love how he uses video content as well. So keep an eye on that. You can look at Brandon Lucero or James Wedmore and see how they've used video series in their business. Okay, third one, and I love this one as well. If you want to grow your email list fast in 2021, look at using a contest or a giveaway. Now, I wanna say what not to do first. You've seen these, these contests on Instagram that say, hey, tag three people here and then you'll be entered to win. Now, those are great, but what they're doing is fostering engagement on your Instagram site and they tend to attract some new fans because typically there's a like our page type of component. Now, those are great, 
But if you want to use this strategy to grow your email list, you really need to be thinking about the capture method and how you're capturing the email addresses from those potential clients down the line. So we like to use a, a, a free software called King Sumo for this. And so we've done these for years and we'll, we'll give away things that we sell, like for example, a membership to the CEO Collective, or we'll give away things that are different. Like we just did one uh, this past month that was a giveaway for like a, some merchandise, a t-shirt and a mug, access to some of our courses, and then a $50 Amazon gift card. Now I will tell you, they tend to work best in order to attract in the most qualified leads if you're really giving away something that you actually sell or that's really closely affiliated with what you sell. If you give away an Amazon gift card, for example, you're gonna attract a lot of people to the giveaway, but everybody wants that. And that means that you're gonna attract a lot of people that are not gonna be good fits for your business. So really think critically about what you're giving away and making sure it's a really good fit and, and deeply tapped into that ideal client that you really want to attract. So. I'll give you a couple results for this. So we did a book giveaway last year that generated 192 new leads for our business. And then the giveaway that we did this, or actually a different giveaway, we did a free year membership to the CEO Collective and that generated 133 leads. Now the great thing with that is that we know if they want to win that, chances are they're a pretty good client for us. So what we do is we follow up after we do a giveaway with some nurturing emails and try to foster bringing them into our family and then hopefully over time, the other people that didn't win the prize will in fact buy or join and be part of our community. So use that strategy too. Okay, last one. If you want to grow your email list fast in 2021, use this strategy create a quiz. Now, I'm going to give you a couple examples so you can start thinking about how you've probably seen this before, even if you haven't engaged with it. So one, there's a company called Pros, and they do a wonderful job advertising on Instagram. And so you'll often see a girl with like this beautiful curly hair, and she's kind of uh, showcasing like how good her hair looks now. If you click on the link, it takes you to this hair quiz. And basically, you start putting in criteria about what your hair is like, the texture, the, the problems you have with it, et cetera. And what it spits out is the hair product that's right for you. Now, of course, in the process of doing that, they're asking for your email address, and it's starting to generate generate the lead for that. So that's a really great one. Amy Porterfield also uses these. So she is known very, she's a big name inside the world of digital marketing. She uses quizzes and so does another company. And I'm going to include all these in the links with, or uh, the, <laughs> the caption for this video. So look below. Um, but there's another one called good.co and it's a career quiz. So start noticing where you're seeing this. The nice thing with a quiz is you're basically starting to tease part of the problem. So it's like, is your audience experiencing these problems? And as they say, yes, 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 you're narrowing it down to where it eventually is saying, hey, by the way, this can help you with the problems that you're having. This can be used for products and for services, period, end of story. Any business really can use this. Now, this is a strategy that we are getting ready to launch and test. So depending on when we post this, we'll include the link to our quiz that we're testing, but we'll also share some results after the fact because I'd like to see how it works for us and then be able to share with you what, what, what we got. But the tool that we're gonna use is called Lead Quizzes. Now, Lead Quizzes was created by Neil Patel. You may know Neil Patel from his work, again, in like the online digital marketing space. And they use this to grow, it was a 500% increase on conversions when they were using a lead quiz. So these are the strategies that I highly recommend if you're looking to grow your list fast in 2021. I'm just gonna repeat them so you got them all. Top of line, do a challenge, host a video series, do a giveaway or a contest, and last but not least, host a quiz and put that on your website and share it in all the places you normally would. Now, if you're looking for some help growing your email list, and let's be honest, it's a really important part of a marketing strategy for any business these days, I've got something that will help you get there. And it's called the Capture and Convert course, and it's where you will learn how to build an entire lead magnet marketing funnel. Now, what's unique about this is you are gonna learn how to create a lead magnet, something that's like truly irresistible that your ideal client is gonna wanna get her hands on or his hands on but it also teaches you how to build a nurture series. And that's really the more important part. 
Yes, you want to attract that new lead, but it's what you do with them afterwards that really counts. And that's where the nurture series comes in. It starts to develop that relationship and bring that buyer closer to making a purchase from your business. I'll also teach you exactly how to automate it and set this up so that you're capturing leads when you're doing other stuff. Like if you go on vacation or you just want to go to the beach and chill, your automation is going to be running in the background, capturing leads, sending all those emails, the nurture series, and really helping foster those relationships to bring those clients closer to a purchase. So you'll find the link below. It's called Capture and Convert, and you can grab this course for only $37, and it is completely comprehensive. No stone is left unturned. I guarantee you're going to get a lot out of it. So I hope that that is helpful to you. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, like it, and if you're on YouTube, hit subscribe so you can see those future videos as they come out. All right, hope you have an amazing day. Talk to you soon. Cheers.